Did you know that there are dinosaurs in the Bible? You didn't? What? Well, actually, they were created on the fifth and sixth day. You know, the word dinosaur wasn't actually invented until 1841 by a man named Sir Richard Owen. The King James Version of the Bible, which was written in 1611, was like 200 years before the word dinosaur was invented. Back then, they were called dragons. The word dragon is mentioned 35 times in the King James Bible. The word that's translated everywhere else as dragon is translated as great whales in Genesis chapter 1. And that Hebrew word is tanin, or taninim for plural. There are two such dinosaurs mentioned in the book of Job. In Job 40, God talks to Job about a dinosaur, an animal named Behemoth, who eats grass like an ox, but its tail is like a cedar tree. What does that sound like to you? It's not a hippopotamus or a rhinoceros or an elephant. This was a dinosaur which God says in Job 40 that he created with Job, that he created with mankind during the creation week. In Job chapter 41, we're introduced to a dinosaur of the sea named Leviathan. Isaiah talks about Leviathan as a dragon of the sea. And in Job 41, God asks Job a number of questions about Leviathan. Canst thou draw Leviathan with a hook? Canst thou put a hook into his nose? Will he make supplications unto thee? Will he talk nicely unto thee? Will he make a covenant or a promise with thee? Will thou play with him as with a bird, or bind him for thy maidens? Shall the companions make a banquet of him? Are they going to make a feast of this great dinosaur of the sea, which was most likely something like a Mosasaurus? Canst thou fill his skin with barbed irons, or his head with fish spears? And then God says this to Job, None is so fierce that dare stir him up. Who then is able to stand before me? Now use your imagination for a second. Imagine you're playing in one of the Great Lakes, or maybe you're on the coast, east or west, and there's not only a shark in there, but something like a Mosasaurus. Would you mess around with that thing? God tells Job, if people are so afraid of this amazing creature that I created during the creation week with mankind, who then is able to stand before me? You will meet God someday, and it may be sooner than you think. You are gonna have to stand before God someday, and it's gonna be far scarier than standing before this dinosaur that's mentioned in the Bible. We are going to have to answer to an all-powerful, holy God for the sins we've committed against Him. And the Bible says that the wages of sin, what sin earns us, is death. Not just physical death, but eternal separation from a holy God. And that's in a place that God originally created for the devil and his demons, a place called hell. If you want to avoid that place and be able to stand before God having your sins forgiven and be able to be with God forever in eternity, the only way that we can do that is through Jesus. Jesus, who is God in a human body, the Son of God, He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The only way to God, the only way to forgiveness is not through a church, it's not through baptism, it's not through being a good person, it's through faith in what Jesus did for you on the cross, paying your penalty for you and for me, so that we could be set free and forgiven by putting our faith in his death, burial, and resurrection on our behalf, paying for our sins so that the Bible says we could be made the righteousness of God in Him. If you want to know more about all that the Bible says about how you can be saved and forgiven, check out this video right here where I show you how you can know for sure that you're going to heaven when you die.